This video is going to use a supply and demand diagram to explain how a tariff works. Tariffs are used by governments to protect their domestic industries, and a tariff is basically a tax on imported goods, and it effectively increases the price of any imported goods, and that allows domestic producers to be more competitive. And we can see how this tariff works on a supply and demand diagram. If you're not sure about how supply and demand work, or how we can calculate business revenue using this supply and, di and demand diagram, you should go and watch the videos on those topics. In this example, we're looking at a product whose price is at P1. This is below the equilibrium price because we have overseas producers who are willing to sell the product at a price lower than the domestic equilibrium. Because the price is so low, domestic producers will only supply this much of the product from zero to Q1 because they're not making much profit on every unit that they sell. However, because that price is so low, the consumers would like to buy a lot of this product. They'd like to buy from zero to Q2. So with only zero to Q1 coming from uh, within Australia, Q1 to Q2 then becomes imports into the country. Because of this, the revenue received by Australian businesses is this area A. The revenue received by the overseas businesses who import into the country they get this whole box here, this whole uh, box with the area B. I'm just going to remove that because that's going to change when we put the, the tariff in place. But that whole box there is revenue going to the overseas producers. If the government imposes a tariff, it will force the price up because the business will have to add the tariff into the price that they charge for the product. The amount of the tariff on each product is from P1 to P2, so it pushes the prices up to there. We still have the same issue of an excess in demand, meaning that the domestic demand is greater than the domestic supply, and as a result, we'll have imports being sold in the, in the country. We'll just put this line in here. Okay, at that higher price now, Consumers will demand less products and domestic suppliers will, will supply more. So domestic supply will now be equal to Q3. Domestic demand, we'll put that as Q4. So at the new price level of P2, consumers will demand Q4 products, but domestic suppliers will only supply Q3. And that will leave Q3 to Q4 as now the area of, uh, of, uh, of imports. The domestic revenue is going to be this whole box from A, including B and C. So this square, all of those three things together, is the revenue that the domestic producers will now receive. The overseas producers are selling Q3 to Q4 and they're charging P2. So the revenue that, that they receive is going to be these two boxes together. D plus E. That's the revenue that they receive. However, the area D is the tax that needs to be paid to the government, uh, the, to, in this case, the Australian government, by those businesses. So the domestic revenue will actually only be, uh, the overseas revenue will only be the area E. Previously, the overseas businesses were making B plus E plus F. The Australian business was only making A. Now, the Australian business makes A plus B plus C. The overseas businesses, they only receive E, and the government receives D as revenue in the form of a tariff. The consequence of importing, imposing this tariff is that consumers are now receiving less products from Q2 down to Q4, and they're paying a higher price from P1 to P2. But the government is willing to do this because it protects that domestic industry so they're able to produce more. They can hire more people. They can have uh, more domestic people working in jobs. And also, there is a benefit to the government that they are receiving revenue in the form of tariffs.